Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is beginning of autumn, right? And I hope you had an amazing Halloween get together. If you did parties, I hope it was absolutely wonderful, maybe spooky, if not otherwise. So, did you get treated? Or did you trick? <laughs> so we're going to be talking about, did you know that today is National Broadcast Day? Today is National Boyfriend Day. And uh, there was something else. Uh, what is it that they said? Uh, traffic. Broadcast traffic. Delivered uh, uh, deviled egg day. Today is also a boyfriend day. So what for those of you who have a boyfriend well go celebrate do something special for them um i was thinking what does autumn really mean it means change of season change of colors everything is changing that means uh, Going from the green into the orange, the yellow, the comfort zone, the coziness, right? And we think about it like places like uh, New England, New York, Virginia, the places that are cold and they have the four seasons. I myself come from Iran and when I was growing up, we had four seasons. When it was summer, it was really hot. When it was winter, we had snow above our knees. So why are we talking about that? Because in life, as human beings, we go through change of perspective, change of attitude, change of behaviors, even change of habits. And as we evolve, it's as if it's time to shed. It's time to let go. Change your leaves. And because the time of, this is the time that we cocoon. It's the time that we come to go within ourselves. It's time for coziness and warmth and everything right after the summer, right? So, before we even go into hibernation of the winter as we are doing that, we are in the winter as we are approaching that since it's autumn. The colors of the yellow uh, are our core, which is the stomach, what we eat, what we digest, how we digest life, how we digest food. So if there is any stomach issue or anything, that's your yellow, that's the core, that's the energy, the brightness of the sun. So things that are citrusy, things that are lemony, uh, those are the things that you want to eat, drink, honey honey nuts they just give you the sense of comfort and warmth the orange is our sensuality our sexuality so there is a lot that is happening during this time that as it is national boyfriend day so the coziness that starts coming together and believe it or not you never know what kind of a, a phase you are going through in changing, changing even boyfriends, changing behaviors, things that are no longer good for you. Yesterday on my clubhouse room, we were talking about PTSD and how it is related to trauma. So when we are talking about this, you know, the weather in itself can be traumatic to our body if we are not accustomed to it so when we are speaking about trauma and change and going from one phase to another comforting ourselves we come to also secure ourselves and create boundaries create this place of comfort that 
it becomes hard for us to move forward in life and not many people shed a lot of things but until the time that we are not releasing we are not shedding even when there's dead leaves what's going to happen you don't hold on to it you don't rake it and keep it what you do is rake it and let it go you rake it and let the wind take it you rake it and you put it in a trash bag and you let it let the trash bag take it away so my question to you is have you thought of what behaviors what challenges what habits do you have that you have been holding on to and not shedding not releasing not letting the leaves fall off so think about it take a moment and think what are the things that in the last year two years you have gone into this scare scarcity and become more afraid or you have cocooned yourself and being afraid to make a change god forbid coming out of your bond boundaries or even think the other way have you created more comfort that it's hard for you to expand and come out because you don't know what's going to happen next you see, it is fear that keeps us intact in place. It is our created fear and self-imposed fear and taking other people's fear that creates this place within you that it makes you afraid to step out of your own comfort zone. So intact, what we do is we go back we go back we cocoon we safeguard and just when you think you want to come out something happens your body triggers something your body makes you fall makes you hurt or makes you get sick only to protect you you see our body is just an incredible mechanism that it will never do anything to harm you but to protect you because it houses you shields you protects you who you are is inside this body and when you feel that discomfort how do you go into protect zone how do you hibernate yourself and that is what we're going to be talking about for those of you who don't know me my name is Lisa Bubari as a clinical hypnotherapist this is exactly the work I do I started talking about the autumn I started talking about colors because there is so much we are people living breathing in season with colors our chakras our pressure points our energy lines we are the essence of all this you are you have the power within you to do just about anything you want you probably have manifested most of the things that where you are at this very moment and you might think really did I manifest this illness did I manifest me being afraid did I manifest this no you may not consciously have manifested but subconsciously you took you took a suggestion and made it real only to safeguard and support you or keep you cocooned so as the leaves shed i want you to remember one thing there's branches that means every thought every idea every every aspect of who you are all your habits all your behaviors right some of them long some of them short some of them spiky but the bulk of that tree is who you are the strength the root of who you are 
the wisdom within, within this tree is who you are. So we talk about weather coming and blowing away, shedding, but you, the core of who you are does not change as a human. What are you afraid of? Are your fears justified? Or are your fears there to protect you? Fear in itself, we know it's called false emotions appearing real. And what I do is I help my clients go from that essence of feeling powerless, feeling anxious, to understand why is it that you think you are powerless? Did you give your power away? Do you have less of a power than before? Because if you feel powerless now, if there is a pain in your body or in your heart, or it is your emotions and thoughts, is it mental? Is it mental thoughts? So what is less than if you become aware of that, that in itself becomes significant for you. What I had power over before and where I feel powerless now. So that in itself for you just to sit and journal and delve within and say, huh, I never realized that I may have given my power away. Who to, where to, when. Who to, when. And then if you sit back and analyze that in your own comfort, in your own safety, in your own place of being, you will realize, hmm, you can find the causation and if you can't call me we can tap within your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is where all the information is so the next level of when we feel discomfort when we feel agitated and everything is when we are in a state of anxiety anxiousness anxious to move forward, anxious to release, anxious to let go of the dead leaves, right? And where does this anxiety come from? And where does it situate in within you? Is it in your body? What part of your body? When you feel anxious, what happens? Do you go through having this shortness of breath? Do you have pain? Because feeling powerless and then anxious it brings you to feeling insecure. That means you are not feeling safe and secure within yourself or even with your thoughts or the decisions that you want to make. And again, I go back to autumn and the leaves and the colors. Does your stomach growl? Do you feel that you have harder time digesting things? Because when we feel insecure, it affects our core. And there are certain foods that just do not sit well. And you may have heartburn, indigestion. Right? Because when we think about that pain, feeling powerless, feeling anxious, feeling insecure, and having all these negative thoughts and going into this loop of negativity, how is it affecting deeper into your sensuality, into your legs? Because that is the root. You need to feel grounded and solid. And if you are not, that wind can just move this tree it is only when you are planted strong rooted feeling self-confidence self-accepted self-nourished 
and have this essence of greatness within you that you feel strong and no matter what happens up there with the leaves and everything you know it is temporary it is seasonal so when i think about when we have a weather outside that is cold and everything and we grab a cup of tea and we just sit with a tea and we just cozy up even put a blanket around us and we feel good and at that moment if you keep your head and the bottom of your feet warm you feel that warmth and essence of comfort because that's where we receive everything the bottom of our feet our hands and the top of our head if you keep those three points covered cozy and warm you will feel your entire body warm and a cup of tea always helps especially with a dash of uh, honey and uh, soup hot chocolate you know those are things that remind us of a place of comfort not sick comfort cozy warm because that's what an image we have for keep on keeping us in a place of cocoon of healing healing within is not curing it is knowing how to safeguard yourself how to come to accept and appreciate that what happens from the outside no matter how bad the winds break you are solid within that you can handle it that you have no less of power except what you thought as a matter of fact as you tap within your subconscious mind go ahead and just close your eyes for just a moment and take a nice deep breath and as you exhale release and let go if there is any tension in your body just imagine being this bulk of a tree strong solid rooted and as you expand your arms in your own imagination or even in reality expand and as you move ever so gently you realize the top moves and you are steady and strong even imagining that you do this strong stand and you feel rooted and as the heat comes up allow that heat and warmed from below to radiate up all the way your feet become warmer the bottom of your feet feel that warmth of earth of sand and heat and sun and as you imagine even the scent and smell of and the aroma of a hot chocolate or your favorite soup it takes you to another time and a place that you were comforted nourished and nurtured hmm. that is the essence because when you imagine it your body does not know if that imagination is real or not when we go into a state of deep state of relaxation and you close your eyes and you go into this place of imagination as children do as harry potter did as the princess did as every essence of what we do even people who are doing games and playing games it has been created by someone's imagination so your imagination is exactly how you come to manifest health wealth healing strength success and everything even 
to the core, to the essence of every cell, every molecule in your body to begin the healing process. Last night, this happened to me. Look, I've got a tape here, I've got a tape here, I've got tapes and tapes and tapes. You know what? I made a mistake. I made a mistake that I put my fingers in the mouth of my dog, my little, sweet, adorable dog, and wanted to take something out of his mouth because I thought he's chewing on the manure and the, uh, the fertilizers that was planted and spread on our backyard. And I thought there was something that he's chewing on. He shouldn't be. So late at night, 1130, I put my fingers in there. And you know what he did? He bit me. Because I was running after him. Uh, he thought it was a play. And then when I did a command for him to release it, and he did it, I went above him, from above, instead of in front of him. And then I put my fingers. And his was what? a automatic defense reaction and he bit me to a point that I started bleeding. Now at that moment I did a snap and then I released it by opening his jaws and I ran inside closing the screen and I went in there to care for me. Why am I saying this? Because I could have panicked and I could have spanked or hit him and everything, but that becomes a reaction and the response of that reaction would have been a more traumatic for my dog as it was already traumatic for my body. But that is the essence of what we talk about trauma. If it becomes more, if I created more, it could have become more traumatic, not only for that little dog that all he was doing is reacting his dog way, and it was the human that did not read the dog. And instead of me going into a panic, I go into a zone and I just put this and the gushing of the blood within two minutes stopped. So the powerlessness that I felt at that very moment, by instead of reacting, I responded by first oxygen on my mask, taking care of me before I tend to the, to the other what needs to be. And as I stopped the bleeding and I put the uh, tapes on, I come back to now assess what was happening and is in the doghouse for a few hours because as I opened the screen, you know what it was? He knew he did something wrong and he knew that something was off and he was apologetic. So he went and hid behind the, uh, behind the couch. So at that very moment, I come back to the solid bark, when you feel in power, in control, physically, mentally, and emotionally, you can assess things and respond versus react. Because reaction may also have a loop of could have been traumatic versus I assess it, I tend to it, I am in control. I feel calm and now I can do what is necessary. So going from powerless to having control and calmness, from feeling anxious to calm and secure, going from insecure to having that independent decision-making, the strength, and from going into that negative thinking loop to how do I negate and find a solution to nurture and nourish. So 
what you just realized. I took you from pain to gain. Because that's where we want to be. Greatness, growth, nurturing, feeling independent, and feeling that we can. You know what? You can too. You have the power within you to shed and release all that it's no longer necessary nor worthy. So as you take a moment, close your eyes and just imagine, I can go from pain to gain because I am safe, I am secure, I am loved, I am loving. And I am okay. I am. The power within you is what helps you heal within. Today's message is cocoon, comfort, cozy up. And when you are ready, ready stand up, be the bark that rises, chin up, to move and shed and release all the dead leaves. Because when it comes to hibernation, you're going to cozy up and renew yourself for the new you. And Kate says, I love that. Put oxygen mask on first. And then deal with the situation, response versus react, assess, attend, in control, calm, and now I can do what is necessary. Feeling strong, independent, nurturing, nurture and relish. Oh my God, Kate, thank you. Thank you for doing uh, what I do. I take notes every time that I listen to a motivational speaker. And, and you know this more than anyone, the person who is the best storyteller is Les Brown when he talks with that bodacious uh, persona of him his sound and the way he talks and then he goes into this laughter you know what that is the best way to release a lot of things that it's inside is with music it's with laughter it's with movement it's with that incantations that we talk about because if i can't laugh at myself you know why would i be upset when somebody else does i laugh with me first I laugh at the things that I did. Huh. Believe it or not, at that very moment, I yelped. And it was like, and I even did the, did the cry sound so he feels bad. But then I realized I was making that sound mostly for me. And I was going, <sighs> that's exactly what happens. This is exactly how people go into that hyperventilating when they don't breathe it out and they hold their breath and go into that hyperventilation is breathe, release, excel, express. If we only learn how to express, let go and blow it away, versus suppressing what is happening, even suppressing that traumatic uh, and fast reaction as the heart is palping, palpitating and starts with feeling it happening, the body going into it, the heart starts palpitating, and then the mind says, I am having a panic and anxiety. I'm going into a panic. I'm going into a panic. And then the body says, okay, then we are going into a panic and we go into a panic. So we can reverse that. And when we are doing release, yes, I just got bit, reality. Oof. I put my fingers in his mouth, I did it, I own it. 
take ownership and the moment I take ownership I put my fingers and as the blood was coming and I'm going ah yes I'm pleading now I can tourniquet this at this very moment <sighs> yes I can yes I can and as I'm standing there my finger is throbbing I put the tapes on I put the tape on and as my body is going faster and faster guess what I'm doing it's okay it's okay it's okay I'm okay it's just a cut. It's just a bite. I'm okay. My body is okay. I am okay. I am safe. I am safe. And then tears started flowing, which was a fantastic release. And that release reminded me, if I'm feeling this, my poor dog is feeling it too. So as I go to open the door, very calmly and lovingly, I said, come in. I open, and he went and cocooned himself behind the couch. And that's okay. And then gently he went to my uh, mom's room. And he did not come into my room because either think that he's going to be punished or he already felt bad and needed to calm himself because it's as much traumatic as for a pet it's as much traumatic as for a child as the person and we feel it we feel it in every essence and this is a small little thing we talk about PTSD and this is small compared to others who have gone through more but learning how to tap into that moment or even years later, months later, weeks later, days later, assess the situation and find a way to express it and release it and nurture yourself. Knowing that you are safe, your body is safe. Emotionally and physically and mentally you are intact. And you can move and shed all the dead leaves and find strength with it. So every one of you that feel powerless and feel in pain, contact me. My name is Lisa and you can just find me at healwithin.com as a matter of fact, I will even gift you if you say, if you text 818-221-2797, the word stress, and I will give you an audio recording of stress no more so that you can listen to that audio recording. And if there's any stressors within you and around you for you to let go and find the calm within. Until then, walk, look at the trees, look at the leaves, and be grateful for being human, being present. God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.